Hello, this is Solar PVTV from World Future Energy Summit 2017. And now we are in a special edition of uh, product showcase for uh, Solar PVTV and uh, WFS TV, together with uh, Tom Zhao, who is in charge of solar business at uh, uh, BYD. And uh, it's very interesting, Tom, that you are here actually with this product because we are in the region, I, as you could notice, that is uh, sometimes very hot. This is a quite interesting module. And it doesn't look uh, like, you know, the standard model. So it actually is composed by three major elements. One is the uh, glass in the front as a euro, but the back side, we change to the glass. So traditional module is uh, EVA, it's not glass, right? So we change to the glass. And then uh, uh, how to uh, conjunction or combine all these uh, things together, front glass, back glass, and the cell in the middle, right? So traditional module using the EVA, so EVA uh, is the solid film. After the uh, heating process, it will okay, become okay, liquid and also uh, uh, you know, uh, conjunction, housing together. Uh, EVA got a problem that uh, that is uh, you know, uh, it's organic material. So uh, under consistent exposure to the UV light, uh, organic material will have a degradation. So degradation will result in the less efficiency of the module. So that's why the current module the annual degradation is 0.7% per year. Means what? Means uh, 25 years later, the power, okay, job. This is uh, open slip. Yeah, but this module, since we changed to the new glue, not EVA, we, we changed to the uh, silicon, right? So you can see we call silic uh, EVA free module, right? So silicon is non-organic material. So uh, non-organic material has no any okay, uh, impact by the UV light. So that's why A will have a longer lifetime and also less degradation. So the lab test showing, okay, the degradation can be can reach 0.3% only against the 0.7% of the uh, traditional module. So this uh, uh, a great okay, reduction of the uh, degradation means what? Well, means a much longer lifetime and the more power can be generated, right? Yeah. So I think uh, this is, uh, we call this module also, we call the full silicon solution. Why we say that is because Glass is a silicon oxide, oxidant, right? Back sheet also the glass, right? And then the glue is a silicon and cell silicon. So this is a full silicon solution. And silicon is what? It's main con uh, content of a stone. So it means longer lifetime, very reliable. So this is the one we think it shall be the very, very robust product that we can, uh, you know, the market can uh, should adopt. Now it's already uh, more than 100 gigawatt, okay, product shipping to the market. The record is so, showing pretty positive that Comparing to the EVA module, this is a silicon uh, glue module, generate okay five to ten percent more power than the uh, you know uh, the traditional one. So, yeah, but, uh, but besides that, I think that the most important is the lifetime of the module. Exactly, exactly. This is really because of the uh, less degradation uh, on yet uh, annual base, and then uh, re uh, representing for longer lifetime. So that's why we are seeing uh, a it is uh, going to be have about the uh, you know. Uh, 50 years, okay. Uh, do, you have, uh, do you have any orders already from this region for your new modules? The project developer like uh, Mazda, right? Their engineering team is already show very strong interest on this technology. You know Mazda is an uh, energy company, renewable energy company here. And also host of this uh, exhibition. Exactly, exactly. So they already uh, have an engineering discussion with uh, uh, my team talk about this uh, strength uh, of this technology and see whether there's a chance to engage to their next okay large ground farm project here. Uh, we provide the total solution here. Okay, so besides the solar uh, panels products, right? We also uh, provide the energy storage system so that okay uh, the system uh, uh, installed here is not be able to generate the huge turbulence to the grid networks and uh, some uh, remote area people still have no power. So that's why my solution is not only uh, just uh, to stabilize the renewable energy power, but also it can provide the, uh, we call the decentralized okay, power generation system uh, by combining solar and storage all together. So this one uh, can help to provide the uh, off-grid or micro-grid system for those uh, area which is uh, uh, not really, how to say, uh, well supported by the uh, green networks on the electricity power supply. And this is so interesting actually because uh, these countries need really energy to create wealth, to develop the countries and to build the whole infrastructure takes time, yeah? Yes. And uh, you can help them to make it quicker. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because uh, you know the system uh, uh, built is a uh, very short time, right? And large system, large solar system can be built only uh, uh, within one year time. So this is a... Uh, uh, also with the storage? It's a storage also. Oh. Solar is even shorter, okay? 
So that's why we, uh, as long as the policy hit there, the, the incentive policy there, the market is there, right? Uh, this can be a growth very fast. Hmm. Oh, it is in Doha, in uh, Qatar. Four years ago, we have the uh, joint development, okay, uh, with Chevron. Uh, Chevron is an energy company, right? So they want to build, uh, you know, the uh, micro grid system, right? Uh, with their, okay, project, uh, the oil project in uh, this region, right? So uh, they need, uh, okay, very, green, sustainable, okay, a power supply, okay, to their, okay, a uh, uh, fuel project, right? So this is the solution. Then uh, we design, develop, and install here, right? And running four years is uh, very good because the battery life is very stable and also performance is uh, very uh, matching their expectation. Mm -hmm. Even in the desert area, in the high uh, temperature, okay, uh, region like uh, Middle East, uh, so it has no any problem because uh, the cooling system, the whole system design, is already okay considering this kind of the uh, climate okay uh, factors. And Tom, uh, because BioID has also strategy sometimes to localize the production, yes, not only for solar but also for electrical vehicles, yes. uh, electrical buses, like you know United States, like Brazil. And do you have any, let's say, localization plans here in the region, okay. in the Middle East, maybe in Africa? Okay, actually, they already have the uh, uh, car manufacturing uh, uh, partner in uh, Egypt already. Ah. Yeah, so that's why you, you you can see a lot of the BYD cars in Egypt, and we also sell a lot of the car okay uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia as well. So uh, putting manufacturing here definitely uh, it, it, it's no problem because uh, we actually so uh, uh, want to you know uh, try to contribute to the local society okay with the stronger country. Uh, how to say demand support from the regional right uh, markets, right? So um, uh, we want to be the local company, okay? Uh, design, produce, and also uh, uh, service the, uh, this uh, system and products to the uh, regions, so that okay, uh, the regional okay requirement can be fully uh, how to say uh, well, well taken, okay, uh, by our you know uh, products and, and and the team here, right? So this is something that uh, part of the BYD global localization uh, strategy. We are actually not only limit to Middle East region, but also some other region like South Africa, like uh, uh, South American market. We we are doing the same strategy. So that's why uh, in future actually, uh, uh, as long as with the vehicle and also the renewable energy has uh, you know a pretty uh, consistent uh, strong growth in the uh, uh, in the next following years right we have no any issue to consider uh, to, to, to put in the factory here and create a job opportunity to these uh, local uh, markets yeah. we know uh, quite a lot about your modules we know about your storage solutions uh, we know about uh, electric cars you are the biggest producer of electric cars but uh, two days ago you gave some uh, souvenir to Prince uh, Malik from Nigeria. And what was it and uh, what is the next product that you are introducing to the markets? And uh, do you think it's a sufficient product also for the local markets here in the Middle East and also in the African countries? Yeah, the new product we, we promote, we call is a Skywheel. The key feature of this product is that the construction cost is only one-sixth of the uh, subway. Mm. And also the construction lead time is only one-third. Uh, with this uh, uh, lower cost and the fast okay, uh, construction lead time, right, it will allow Many cities, okay, uh, which is uh, you know limited by the budget, right, for the infrastructure uh, ability to build, okay, a more system that provide, okay, uh, this kind of the uh, very convenient uh, transport system for the people. People might not be really uh, uh, how to say need a car, right? Okay, thank you so much. So everybody who is watching this video now can contact Tom not only for the solar solution but also for storage solution for electric cars and for the SkyRail. That was Solar PVTV together with uh, Tom Zhao, who is uh, Managing Director for Sales, Global Sales Activities at uh, BYD, the company which is introducing Ford Dreams now here in the Middle East, but also in Africa. Thanks for watching.